All right, so here's the second part to my Verizon Note 3 series. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to apply the MJ7 update that Verizon pushed not too long ago and keep your root on your Verizon Note 3. First thing you need to do is make sure you're on a custom and rooted firmware. There's a video that I've done on this before. I'll put a link in the description down below. And that will put you on a custom and rooted M19 firmware. That's step one. Now, this video won't be as in-depth as my other videos since I'm not taking you step by step. I'm not able to. Reason being, and here's a warning, if you do the MJ7 update, you are not able to go back to M19 firmware. There is an MJ7 firmware that you can flash if anything goes wrong, so you'll still be okay, but you might lose root, or you will lose root. So. I'm going to take you step by step on how I did it. It won't be as in depth. I might cut off on a couple of things, but you will be able to accomplish this with no problem. Okay, so let's begin. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to andromods.com. I'll put the link in the description down below. You will be able to grab all your files from these blue links right here and follow the written tutorial. So, first thing you want to make sure is that you have the exposed framework installed on your phone. So all you have to do is click on this blue link and it'll take you to this web page. Scroll all the way down and go to download and you can download the latest installer APK from here. So go ahead and download that APK, put it on your phone and install it like you would any other APK file. Okay, now once you've installed the exposed framework, go ahead and grab the one I'm exposed from the Google Play Store. You can do it from your phone or you can do it from the internet and just install it right there. So either way, install that as well. Okay, now you have those two applications, or those two APKs installed. Let's go to the phone and I'll actually show you how to use them and prepare your phone to do the MJ7 update. Okay, so there are gonna be a couple of things here that you probably don't have. Just go ahead and ignore them. But uh, this is what you're gonna do. First, you wanna make sure that you have your framework installed. So go to framework, and then click the install slash update right there and make sure that's complete and then reboot which is that last option right there then once you're done with that then come back into the exposed installer once again so go ahead and reboot so once you're done rebooting then you can go to modules here's where you'll see a bunch of things you will not have what we're wanting to focus on here is enabling one I'm exposed which will be this one right here so go ahead and check the button right there and it'll probably ask for another restart go ahead and restart okay so now once you're done with your restart let's exit out of exposed installer and I have went ahead and opened up when I'm exposed now it will ask for root privileges go ahead and give them to when I'm exposed and we can continue so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to secure security hacks and then fake system status right here so just go ahead and make sure that's checked and that will trick the phone into believing that is in an official status or at least it will fake the status so you won't have the custom lock on your boot okay so just go ahead and restart and we will continue on to the next step alright so now that you are rebooted go ahead and come into super user and then go to the settings and then scroll all the way down and enable pro I'm not going to do a couple of these things because it could mess things up, but just at the very bottom right here, enable pro, okay? So it might ask for a restart, go ahead and restart, and then come back to super user and your settings menu once again. Alright, so now that you're back in, make sure you check right here in gray right here, survival mode, make sure that checkbox is checked. That will allow your super user to attempt to keep root while you're doing this MJ7 update. And last but not least, where it says enable super user, uncheck that. That will disable super user and it will make it seem as your phone is not rooted. Once again, helping MJ7 to successfully be installed onto your phone. Now you can go into your settings and apply the MJ7 update. All you have to do is go all the way down to about phone in your settings. And somewhere around here, Mine looks different because I've applied a ROM, but somewhere around here there will be an option for you to check for updates. I believe it will be somewhere where my about ROM is, 
there should be an option for you to check for updates somewhere embedded in one of those options. So go ahead and do that and simply follow the instructions on there and apply the over the air update. The phone will reboot and apply the firmware update if everything has gone well and you will be rooted and the MJ7 over the air update would be successful. So go ahead and let all that happen and we'll come back to the phone. Okay, so now you should have the MJ7 update installed. Uh, your build number should say MJ7 and your baseband version should be MJ7. But we are not done yet. We're, there's one last thing we have to do and for that let's go back to super user. So now we're back in the super user app. We're going to go ahead and check super, enable super user that will bring back your super user and your root privileges and just uncheck survival mode and that is it. Once all that is completed you now have the MJ7 over the air update and you have kept your root. And that's it. Now you have the MJ7 firmware update and you have successfully kept your root. Now here are some warnings. If you have applied the MJ7 firmware update do not I repeat, do not follow my first video on the Verizon Note 3 on flashing the M19 firmware, customized rooted firmware, because that will soft break your phone and it will void warranty and there's a whole bunch of issues behind it. Do not do that. Maybe in the future I might make a video on restoring your phone to a stock MJ7 firmware if necessary. The only thing is that that will completely remove the root and wipe everything and there is a way to root it afterwards but it's currently there's only a third party app that has been in some gray areas and it's probably not the safest way to go so that being said try to be safe with this firmware update don't do anything that might mess up your phone here's the good news though my next video will show you how to keep your current operating system that means your current touch whiz whatever you have installed right now safe on a specific partition on your phone and you can partition it up and multi-boot into your phone with various ROMs or just if you want to keep that one safe you can make a copy and just put it in another ROM slot all this will make sense whenever you see the video so be on the lookout for the next video it will teach you how to install safe strap and make different partitions and install different ROMs on your phone and there will be a bunch of other bonuses so I'm excited for the next couple of videos in this series I will show you a lot of new things that you can do with your Verizon Note 3 so if you like this video and you found it informative and it helped you go ahead and like if you're looking forward for my next videos on showing you how to install SafeStrap and a bunch of other extra hacks and mods you can do to your phone go ahead and subscribe and you'll be getting those video updates as soon as they come out so thanks again hope this helped you and you'll have a good one